Responsive banner slider is a SharePoint add-in that adds slideshow functionality to your SharePoint site. This app wipes out the limitation of SharePoint slideshow wordpad by adding e exciting new features with advanced animations. This slide that has turned SharePoint slideshow into a powerful responsive SharePoint add-in that is fully customizable to fit your needs. Now let's jump on the site and show you how you can configure it. The process is pretty easy. You can have your slider up and running in your intranet extranet or internet public facing site in less than five minutes all right let's see how you can actually do that um so to uh to configure the slider just click on the gear icon click site content uh i've already downloaded the slider um i've already installed it on my site but if you haven't installed it the best way to do that is pretty much click add an app and you can go to the SharePoint store. You can download it from the SharePoint store by just uh, searching for responsive banner slider. Or another way you can install it is from your organization. If you contact us, we can give you um, uh, an app file that you can just upload into the app catalog. And it will appear right here. As you can see, I've already installed it uh, on my um, in my site. So let's just go ahead and see how you can actually configure it. So we'll go back to site content. Click on banner slider, and it's going to open up the administration page for the app. All right. Um, with the administration page, let's just have a quick um, uh, overview. Um, you 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 uh, you have a tab to create new slides. You have another one that you can view your current slides, and as well as settings. With the settings, you can actually choose animation effect. You can choose different designs. You can uh, select if you want to show or hide the the slider title. You can sh um, uh, hide or show the description uh, as well as. Uh, the, the the caption as well as also you can uh, disable or enable animation you can also select a color palette for the theme um how you want uh, let's say for example um the theme of your site is a gray it is pretty much gray if you, you know the css code for that you can just pretty much enter the um the css code right here um for example gray that will be f5 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 and and as you can see it automatically just defaults to the uh, f5 f5 defaults to gray and whenever you're done make sure you always um, uh, click publish slider changes but let's start from scratch media yes, after you download it you come to the administration page first thing you want to do you want to create slides right all right let's jump into that let's create a couple of slides okay let's let me grab some text from uh, our corporate site there you go so our first slide is pretty much just going to be let's say discussing just uh discussing about what our company is so i'm going to go to the about us page and grab some text the title uh we are the sharepoint experts the description sorry the uh, the url for that particular page when users click on the button this is where it takes them to uh, visit corporate now that's the button text and you're gonna see whenever when we add a, a, the slider into the on the, on the page you're going to see all these changes on the page all right so let's grab some description i'm just going to grab a little bit of description from right here again this is just for demo purpose uh, okay all right And obviously this is the first slide you can actually change the order right here the slide order if you want this particular slide to be like the third one or the fourth one but since this is the only this is actually our first slide um, we're just going to leave it at one let's upload a couple of uh, slides our first one and create i'm um, uh, click create new slide 
and there you have it we have our new slide let's uh let's upload a couple more slides so let's go to um next sharepoint.com next sharepoint.com is a sharepoint hosting solution if you're looking for something to replace office 365 public facing um, uh, site because uh, as you know in i think that was march 2015 microsoft announced that they are actually taking away office 365 public facing site so they won't be supporting that anymore so if you are interested in uh, uh getting a, a new sharepoint site or probably migrating your current office 365 public facing site to sharepoint um just next sharepoint.com is really they are really good uh with migration from office 365 and they can actually help you migrate that for free all right so let's just grab some text from their site okay this is gonna be our title and description sorry the url and let's put this one to be getting started and grab some text for description and this is going to be our second slide all right and select an image select something and click create new slide all right, we have a second slide. So I'm just going to do the rest of the slides real quick. Uh, let's grab some text from Offer Commerce. Offer Commerce is, I think this is actually uh, the best. Uh, like This is the only and the best e-commerce solution running on SharePoint. All right. Um, if you're interested in the app, you can always download the app from Office 365, Offer Commerce, um, or you can go to OfferCommerce.com. If you're interested in the WS, um, WSP solution, um, if, you're, uh, if your environment is not configured for apps, you can always go to the site and download the WSP version. All right, so let's just grab some text for Offer Commerce. Again, this is a, um, a SharePoint e-commerce e solution and the URL um, uh, upload the image going to be our third slide again let's do the same for I just do the same for uh, like two more slides and and I'll show you how to actually add it on your page have five slides let's just add one one last slide go, go to the key features and just grab some text somewhere here let's type welcome to SharePoint e-commerce and now grab some text All right oh okay we I think I forgot to select an, an image All right, so we have six slides. Let's um, 
before uh, as a matter of fact you need to first of all publish this so let's add this particular um the um the slider to our page first and see how it looks without publishing it so let's edit our page so pretty much this is how you add the slider to your to your to your site all right so uh, and again this is an app part click insert click uh app part and you have it right there responsive banner slider insert apart responsive banner slider add okay let me remove the chrome i don't want the title to be showing on the page all right save and publish all right so by default this is actually how um when you add the slide the uh, slider to your page if when, if you haven't uploaded anything any images any slides you're just gonna have this uh colors just displaying and sh just some default text so um but we've offload we've uploaded our slides so the next thing we need to do and this is very important every time uh every time you upload a slide you you want to publish it all right so always click publish slide changes all right changes published successfully so now let's go to our site and refresh the page and we should be able to see our slides there you go everything coming in uh, with the text the description exactly how we created everything all right and of course you can click on it you click on the button it's going to take you to the site all right so let's look at and again let's uh this particular slider is available uh to anonymous user uh, anonymous users will never have access so they the, when you publish it just compiles an HTML file and and all they are seeing is just an HTML file they don't have access to your site they have access to zip nothing in your site all right so if I refresh the page everything is gonna load there you go and it and as you can see I'm not signing the signing button is right there and this is IE if I switch back to Chrome you can t as you can tell from chrome i'm actually signing but uh, in ie i'm not so it's available to anonymous users so let's um do a little a, a little bit more modifications uh let's go to the uh, slider settings as, as i said you can actually uh change um animation effect i'm gonna switch to flip in x and see how that actually looks let's publish that okay if i go back over here and refresh my page as you can see before i refresh the page the image is actually popping in from behind ah okay it's actually sliding in from left to right okay let's um refresh the page and now you see it flips in from behind the scene all right so let's look at it one more time all right let's select another uh, effect drop in from the top the image is going to drop in from the top when it's coming in there you go there you have it image drops in from the top one more time all right then another thing you can actually select is a color um, uh, palette so let's um anyway i'm just going to leave this default to 222 two, two, but you can always select a different color actually let's select something else you have this wonderful color palette tool right here all right i like this color all right let me select this guy so and i want to change the design to the thumbnail and publish that all right let's see how it looks on our site 
and there you have it now you have a thumbnail at the bottom you have uh, this thumbnail navigation that pretty beautiful navigation at the bottom of the page uh, and uh, the slides it just slides from left to right and again you can adjust the animation a lot of um, settings available for you to actually go ahead and um, and set for your slide it all for your slider it all depend on your choice again you can get this from um, uh, office 365 if you have any question please always visit www.cotechinc.com again www.cotechinc.com um, and we'll be more than happy to actually answer any questions you have you can send us um, uh, an email at info at thank you for watching bye